Hey guys, it's your girl Tosh on this lovely Valentine's Day. And I was so excited to get up and film just a Valentine's Day video. I know last year I did one, which was like really popping for some reason, which I was not expecting. And I just thought I'd do it again. But this year I want to do a little something different. I was inspired. I don't know if you're if you're like a crazy YouTuber like I am, you're gonna know exactly who I'm talking about. But Sham Booty, she's like, she's she's a little bit of everything. But I feel like she's more known to be like a sexologist, and she has her own YouTube. And she did this video, this Valentine's Day theme video about a letter to your exes. And I was like that'd be cool that'd be fun that'd be a different valentine's day video and like just why not you know why not the whole point of the video is to find positives in all the negatives and recently my life has been about positivity so i thought i'd join in on the act i'm not gonna name any names I'm just gonna do like a few recent people maybe maybe not we'll see let's get into the video um Dear X, I, I chose to do you first because we're still like I feel like we're we're great friends, but um, I want to say that we're that close, and I only say that because like yeah, like what I like about you is that occasionally you'll like pop up and be like oh like what's going on in your life like you're very encouraging you're you're very motivating and I appreciate that and I feel like we tried to have a thing when like even though I'm young now I'm super duper young now I am a baby but you know when we tried to talk or whatever like have a little thing thing a little flang thing I feel like we were extremely young you know like extremely young to the point where like everybody does dumb things and i know you might still feel bad about like a lot of the things that happen but i really don't i don't think about it i just see you as a really good friend and i know that you're in a wonderful relationship right now which is amazing because everybody deserves to be happy she has my glasses which is kind of weird and that's a thought that i always thought i would just keep in my head but i guess not um but yeah, I just wish you the very best. Like, I know you're in college. That's cool. I'm in college, too. I feel like every time we talk, I say I'm going to hit you up more, and I don't. Um, and it's not anything against you, but it's just like my life is really, really busy. And I feel like our relationship is the type where we don't always need to um, connect at that first base. Like, you'll kind of always be a friend to me. And it's kind of better for me if I just keep it at the distance, though, like part of the time um but yeah you when i think about like what you taught me you taught me a lot of self-confidence and you were one person who never put me down you know like you were one person who even throughout everything that we've been through you never said i wasn't good enough or you never said i wasn't pretty enough or blah 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 like you are always the person to like build me up and stay in my corner and say you're gonna do this you're gonna be successful which is really nice and i really appreciate it so i was the first one um if you you watch my videos so i hope you know who you are i'm probably gonna text you and tell you that it's you just so you're aware you're probably the only one that i'm gonna text yeah so thanks man you're duper super cool man like my family met you man like so you're awesome on to the next person dear x we were friends for a really long time i never thought that i would see the day where we don't talk anymore or that we don't keep each other in thoughts but like we were close to the point where like our relationship I feel like everybody had this unspoken thing that they knew like oh that's just how we are like that's just how we act or whatever and I had it too and when I had to force myself to understand that we didn't even have a friendship anymore which I mean you could feel about it differently I don't know because we don't talk which I feel like as my friend in that aspect you let me down because 
which I'm now I'm jumping all over the place, but I feel like as my friend for so long in that aspect, you let me down. I let you down in a lot of areas too. There's a lot of times where I wish I could have been more attentive and I wish I could have just been your friend out of everything else, which I feel like as much as I tried to put myself down for like the falling out between us two, I had to realize that it takes two to, you know, not only have a situation, but for that situation to fall down to, you know. Um, I feel like I definitely tried my best with what tools I had in me at the time. And I know for a fact that maybe I just wasn't ready for something of that magnitude that we had and a lot of things were going on in my life and I get that a lot of things were going on in your life like I was in school I was working first department like everything was really crazy and I feel like I got lost in a lot of that because I had to push myself so hard and I didn't I didn't take the time to be like hey like you have people that want to be there for you you have people that you can call and tell them about your crazy day at the end of the day like I kind of just let everything sit in me and I was the person that I relied on for the moment and I know that you did that too and there were times that you wanted me to be there for you and I I couldn't because of my own personal things and I also felt like I always tell people like if you need me I will 100% be there like I will drop everything to be there for you if something is really serious no matter how busy I am or like what I need to get done because people that like really know me or even if you just follow me on snapchat like you know that I stay up days at a time but I feel like if you would have expressed more what was going on like hey like I actually really need to talk to you like this is important this isn't just like a casual conversation because I feel like that's how I was treating it like oh this is a casual conversation I have a midterm due a final due like I have all this stuff to do and like oh like he wants to talk to me but when I asked him he said it was a casual conversation that's what I treated it as and that's just what I keep reflecting back on like what makes me upset is that out of everything that we've built friendship wise, I feel like you let it, you let that period of time in my life where you knew that I didn't have the tools to do what I wish I could have been doing affect all the times where I was there for you a hundred percent, over a thousand percent, the only person in your corner which kind of hurts um especially like some of the things that you say about me or that you said to me like yeah it kind of hurts but it's whatever i feel like i really i it, this wasn't a situation that i really wanted to let go of that easily and when I reached out to you and like tried to express that to you, I feel like, well, of course, obviously didn't respond, no secret, but it's just a little bit of a letdown that we couldn't even work towards some type of a friendship. Because to me, I look at, there were times where obviously you weren't there. And to me, I look at all the times that you were there and I look at the timing that you weren't there and that you didn't have the tools to be that person that I needed you to be for me in that moment and I kind of accepted that and moved on from that and we've had a few conversations where we talked about you know moving on to the future and blah 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 and like you were gonna meet my family and blah 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 and I feel like if you knew that this wasn't something that you wanted to continue, then you should have just like kept it 100 and like not be in my face saying something completely different, which was a letdown. And that is like the most heartbreaking part to me is that, you know, I didn't feel what, I didn't feel that there was a chance that we weren't going to talk 
in a couple of weeks when, when we were hanging out, which is like crazy. But anyway, moving on to the positive before I get too wrapped up in the negative. One thing that I can completely 100% thank from the situation, which is super hard because it's still a little bit there, um, is that like you taught me how to truly reflect on myself and know that it's okay to not be okay it's okay to have people there for you it's okay to not have everything all together and figured out and you also taught me not to blame myself for certain situations that a lot of things are out of my control and that when something is over you just have to kind of let it be that way um you really got me thinking about a lot of my current friendships and like letting people know how much I care about them while I can. Because if I could have told you when we were still talking how much I care about our friendship, just, just our friendship, and how much you mean to me as a person in my life and somebody that has been there for me through things that no one else has I would have definitely expressed it a thousand times more than I did and I regret that but I'm, I'm also very thankful that now moving forward I'm changing how I am with the, with all of my relationships so that is what I'm going to take on the positive and I'm going to move on because I'm getting emotional and I, I don't want to do that and I'll probably have to do a part two of that one because that's just too deep anyway woo. Need to. Oof. The last person that I'm gonna do is who did I say I was gonna do? My ex boyfriend who left me for a girl with a mustache. Anyway, dear ex, I thought I was gonna cut it at the last one, but I think I'm gonna cut it after this one because I just thought about it. So anyway, dear ex who left me for a girl with a mustache. This video is all about positivity, so I'm not going to bash you. But what I will say is that I really don't understand where the competition was at. I mean, had a it's not mustache. even the fact that she had a mustache, but like she treated you terribly. Like I was your shoulder to cry on and I got left, you know, which is it sucks, but it happens. And I feel like, first of all, I wasn't even going to I wasn't even going to date you, which is it happens a lot. The people that I end up dating, like. Usually I did not start off being attracted to them because I wasn't attracted to you at all. Like you weren't, you looked like a turtle. But I like turtles, so it was fine. But you, you really like, you looked like a turtle. And in the cutest way possible, like this is not even bashing you. Is that, is that bashing? I'm not bashing, right? But yeah, um, we had a really good friendship, you know. The positive thing that I took out of this situation was that we had a really good everything and I felt like that added up to a really good connection overall because we were really close friends and we were friends for not that much of a long time. It was pretty short, but we were friends for a good amount of time and I feel like that is what made our connection so strong and I never believed in that stuff. I thought that that was super fake and... OMG, like, girls are just extra, like, you can't actually feel that strongly about somebody, but even the, like, do you remember those pictures, I keep, I keep talking to you because now I remember, but do you remember those pictures of, like, Miley Cyrus looking at Liam, like, how she would just stare at him like that? Yeah, I would. That <laughs> is how I would look at him, like, I'm not even joking, like, I would just be in the hallway all up in his face, all the time, and everybody knew, like, my teachers knew, like, everybody knew. I was obsessed like I was really obsessed like I thought that was the one I thought he was the one like I was like this is it like this is my life this is what happened and what made it probably better for me is that I thought we were never gonna be together which now that's why I think I can just change everything freaking we're never gonna be together but now we are together but yeah we had such a good strong connection like I, like, I felt so differently than I did with anybody else. Like, after that, I've never had that connection. 
But like now I know that that is possible. Now that I know that those feelings are actually possible to to be in a situation, unless you only get those feelings once, which would really suck because it's a great warm fuzzy feeling. And I wish that for everybody. So that's the positive that I took from that situation. I'm not even gonna go too deep into that because all you need to know is that he left me for a girl in a mustache. But I wish we could still be friends, I guess. We don't really have much to talk about, so that's fine. I don't, I would never hit you up and be like, hey, how's your life going? Because to be honest, I don't really care. But he taught me a great lesson that you could actually have unconditional love for somebody, which is really strange to feel. And I thank you for that if you ever see this video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching my Valentine's Day themed dear ex slash dear best friend. I mean, ex best friend video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to share this video, comment, subscribe to me, share it with all your exes. This is actually supposed to be a tag video, but I don't have five other friends that are YouTubers. So if you're watching this and you're one of my friends and you want to do a Dear X video or even a Dear X Snapchat 10 second thing, you can send it to me and I would love to watch it. Make it funny because I would love to laugh at it. Oh, before I forget, my dad keeps telling me that he wants credits on how I end my videos. When I say love, peace, and hair grease, I get it from him. So, dad, I actually don't want you to watch this video, but if you do watch this video, you finally got your credits at the end. Because he commented under my last video, where's my credits? And every time I go home, he says, where's my credits? So I hope you really don't watch to the end of this video, dad, because, like, this is none of your business, but love, peace, and hair grease, I got it from my dad. Thanks for watching.